All right, let's take a look at um, some right-handed hammer-on techniques. Um, now, once again, uh, when I do hammer-ons, I slide my pick over to this finger here like this. Um, that's what uh, Eddie Van Halen does. Um, George Lynch uses this finger, so and Steve Vai. Well, Steve Vai uses, I've seen Steve Vai do some crazy hammer-on kind of stuff. But George Lynch goes over, so you can do it like this. Or you can do it like this. I just prefer uh, switching my pick real quick. Okay, so here we go. Let's take a look at it. We're gonna take a look at a cool E uh, minor pentatonic uh, uh, situation. So what we're gonna do now, we're gonna use all the notes of these here in our, in our minor pentatonic scale in our 12th position, common pentatonic uh, uh, scale. If, if you don't know that one, uh, watch my video. Uh, look in their scales and modes and you'll see that particular video. Okay, so now, so on the first string, on, on with this left hand, so what, the, what we're gonna do with the right hand, we're gonna switch from this note to this note and just keep going down the, as we go down the scale and pitch. We'll be hitting the 12th fret first, then 14th, well here of course 15, so 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, and so on and so forth in our uh, minor pentatonic scale there. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is now we're gonna be putting our left hand on strings, uh, on frets number five and seven on string one. So here's how I do this. See? So I'm just changing it up. Now if you do this with, so I did this one first and this one second here on with my left hand. If you do this one first, this one second, doesn't matter. So what I'm going, I'm doing, I'm doing this, I'm going, I'm going. So I'm, this is to open. And so uh, I missed the 15th right there, but I, I'll, I'll show you now. Okay, and then we're gonna switch to the second um, uh, uh, string. And this one's, uh, now you're gonna change it uh, from uh, the fifth to the seventh, you're gonna use the fifth and the eighth to stay true to our minor pentatonic scale, so. Okay, now we're gonna go to our uh, third string. And on this one, we're gonna be utilizing the fourth fret and the seventh fret with our left hand. And then now we're gonna to go to our uh, fourth string. And on this one here, we're gonna, it's we're back to uh, uh, five and seven, and it's gonna be that way for the final three strings. So that. I threw in an extra note there, uh, but we're gonna talk more about that. I'm just showing you positioning. We're gonna talk about that stuff here in a second. Okay, now once again, on the uh, uh, fifth string, same notes as we just used. And then on the uh, sixth string, um, now we're gonna, uh, the right hand will go up to the fifth, uh, the 15th fret on this one. Okay, so now what? So here's what we got. Okay, so now there's many different ways to do this. You could, you could, you could uh, actually uh, roll these off on, on a pull-off and hammer-on. You can go like this. So I was just using, utilizing the open string. But... So, so there's a lot of ways to attack that. Um, but so those are those, the notes you can use. You know, practice it. You know, there's a lot of different things you can do with that. And um, you could be running a riff. And just use a couple of, of the strings. You don't even have to, you don't have to, or you, could, you can even do a pull-off thing where you can go like this and you go. You know, so there's a lot available in that particular pattern that you can use. Um, the possibilities pretty much are endless. So there you go, a cool little uh, uh, right-handed uh, hammer-on technique. Uh, practice, subscribe, have a great day.